Hey, Brad, you want to make cards? Uh, no. Hey, Brad, you're missing out on all the coloring fun. Come make cards. Uh, no thanks. Hey, Brad, want to design a super complex interactive mechanism out of paper? Hmm, sounds fun. Wait, <laughs> is this card making? Hey guys, it's Carrie at Ink Kill Revival. I'm not quite ready to let go of Christmas. What about you? So today's alternative inspiration prompt is something that was under the tree. And I've got a pretty impressive interactive design to share with you. It's made from a single circle die and a craft knife. Guessing you've got those on hand. Are you game to try this card too? This all starts with some templates. Well, actually it started with my husband asking if my Connect 4 card was gonna be video worthy. And I said, well, it'd be a lot better if it was interactive. And this conversation, it led to the best multi-day craft session ever. Because I finally got my husband to make a card with me. <laughs> Dream come true. He designed a template for the interactive elements on this card for me and you, because you can go download them for free over at my blog. The link's in the description below. Right here, I've cut out my templates and taped them to some heavyweight cardstock with low tack tape, and I'm cutting around. Using a poker tool and a mouse pad, I'm marking where I need to cut each of the holes on the Connect 4 board. Of course, there's background dies that can do all this for you just in one fell swoop, but Sometimes we don't own everything. Well, more like we never own everything. So this is a great way, using a hack like this, to test out if you'd enjoy making with a certain type of product. It's gonna help you decide if it's worth investing in the real deal. Or maybe you can just keep making while you're waiting to save up for it, or waiting for your birthday. <laughs> and maybe you're never gonna buy the product, but you can still dabble around by using a hack. I'm just cutting my one inch long game board pieces and some blanks out of a five eighths, that is hard to say, a five eighths inch strip of paper. And those measurements are on the template. But next up is the most annoying part of this whole card. Legitimately losing to my husband in a terribly obvious way. Ugh. All right, enough playing, gotta get back to work. So I'm taking my game board and flipping it to the back side, and it's glue time. I'm using a strong glue here to adhere those game pieces just to the right of each circle. And I do have the game plan in mind so that I'll end up with a winning Connect Four in there. And while this riveting gluing is happening, I just want to remind you that it'd make a huge difference to me if you hit that like or subscribe button or shared my content. I'm a tiny channel and your encouragement goes a long way. I've pretty much avoided my craft knife over the years, but using it here with a light hand and cutting the template lines with multiple passes made for a successful experience and straight lines. Now to fine tune the mechanism. I'm reinforcing the sides of it with more heavyweight Nina Desert Storm cardstock. <laughs> cardstock. <laughs> that was like a Freudian slip because my feet are cold. Anyways, these strips of paper are just going to prevent the mechanism from tearing when the recipient pulls it in and out and in and out because it's so much fun. I'm also going to round the corners of the pull tab and there was one more thing. Oh yeah, it's the thing I forgot. Stamp the pull sentiment before you build the entire card like myself. So do it right now.
working these columns of tabs through the coordinating slit is kind of like threading needles and tying knots. You just grin and bear it and then enjoy the result when you're done. As you're doing this, be very mindful to not let the tabs you've pressed in slip back out. Now the two edge pieces are pretty tricky to get in there. Your best bet is to pull the tabs so they are just peeking through and very precariously about to fall out of the slit, but don't let it happen. I cut some thin strips of foam tape to adhere the game board to the card base. Now I'm very careful that I'm only putting it onto the blue paper and not adhering any part of the sliding mechanism. This foam tape will also act as a stopper so that those little game piece tabs do not slide out of their slits because that would be a complete disaster and it pretty much be like threading 20 more needles all over again. On to the sentiments. Fully custom sentiments today, like I often do. But let me tell you, I've been in the market for a set of larger alpha dies for a long time. Because I love my W plus nine whimsy alphas, but I feel like I'm using them like every other card. So I found these Pink Fresh Studio Leah alpha dies on Black Friday, and they're amazing. It's a two for one. You get the letter plus the outline every single cut. That's super versatile. So I'm gluing everything down right now just to the game board. Being very careful to not get glue into the slots. You gotta keep that mechanism below free and clear to move. And that does it. An absolutely fantastic interactive element. And I was giddy over this. I kept opening and shutting, opening and shutting. But let's just keep that between you and me. Thank you so much for being here today. Still wondering if you're game to make this card after watching? <laughs> your likes and your shares mean so much to me. I appreciate you. Have an awesome week.